Starting as a hobby and now his full-time business, Mike Stratton is one of only two people in the country restoring and maintaining vintage Kenwood mixers. And his services are regularly called upon by TV programmes as well as private customers. So our reporter Richard Stringer went to meet him. The Kenwood chef for many people will hold pleasant memories of home cooking and with programmes such as Bake Off ever popular, more and more of us are dusting off those classic appliances for use in our own kitchens. And for Mike, his hobby of restoring this slice of social history has now become a business he loves. Uh, they're an iconic piece. Um, they were first originally introduced into the country by a guy called Kenneth Wood in 1950 um, and they've just been an ongoing household item. I started it as a hobby back in 2011. I bought one at a boot sale which didn't work and made a huge profit on it and then I went out and bought another one and restored it for myself and then decided I actually want to do this. Um, again it was going to be a hobby and then it turned into a business. There's two of us in the UK that, that is it, there's two of us in the UK, there's myself and there's a guy in Somerset and yeah it's popular. I think we're both in, we've, we've both got plenty of work. Mike's customers are from all over the world and even TV companies have been in touch. It's a bit of everything, uh, most of them are, it was Nan's, it's going to Mum, it was Mum's, it's going to the daughter, it was Nan's, it's going to the granddaughter. 98% um, of my work is sentimental restoration or I service a lot of machines, do a lot of services, which is basically a restoration without a respray. Um, I think the Bake Off's done something. I, don't, I wouldn't say the Bake Off is responsible solely, but it certainly has um, sort of pushed my business <laughs> to a degree. So yeah, it's, it is, it's crazy. I, I had a guy phone me up, um, I think I restored a B actually, 700B, and he phoned me up and he said to me, you made my wife cry. I said, really? He said, yeah, he said, she's absolutely taken back by it, it's stunning. Um, and I do get some really nice um, compliments. Someone might say to me, uh, and I've had it a couple of times where, you know, a member of the family has passed away, be it Nan or be it Mum, the daughter or the granddaughter has, has been given the, the machine as an heirloom and they've had it restored and it, it, it just gives them the memories, especially if some, I've, I've, I've had emails where I remember baking with my Nan and using this Kenwood, um, it's been handed down to me, could you restore it? And it, and it does, it brings a, a lot of happiness. I mean, this, is, this, this one here is 67 years old, so if, if that's fully restored, that's, a, that's got a lot of history, and it'll have a lot more, because it could go to the next daughter or granddaughter. So yeah, it's, it's good. With each appliance taking many hours to work on, Mike often has very long days. This one here is about 25 hours, that about the same, uh, that one about the same, and then these take uh, 14 to 17 hours, depending upon uh, the intensity of you know the work needed to the motor and the gearbox. The, the one at the end, the 901, they take about 14 hours. And they are beautiful, and you can keep repairing them. So you know they can go wrong in five, 10 years time, and they can be repaired again. I normally go home when I fall asleep in my chair over there. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but I, I do sometimes have to pull myself away from my workshop. Yeah, it's 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 a really I really do enjoy my job. This is Richard Stringer for That Solent.